Listen, whether you're having the worst Christmas, the best Christmas, or the most mid-Christmas of all time, I'm giving you the Wheel of Mutt Christmas special on Christmas Day. So no matter what's going on, enjoy the next 20 minutes. Put all your other distractions away. This can be your inner peace. This can be your moment to dial in and have a great 20 minutes. And of course, if you need Madden coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. They sell coins on every single platform. You can also directly buy players or training points. Buying limiteds and quick selling them is probably the safest route, so I recommend that. This is a significantly better deal than what EA is going to offer you, and you can get 10% off when using the code MMG. Just use the link at the top of the description. I hope all you are having an amazing December. I'm sorry I failed to get you Wheel of Mutt every other day. It's just too hard, man. I'm this close to burning out to a crisp, and I'm just hanging on, just barely. Regardless, I've got the Wheel of Mutt Christmas special for you. What makes a Christmas special, you ask? Well, for one, I'm giving you two episodes of Wheel of Mutt in one. <laughs> Thank you very much, thank you very much. So, we're not just doing one game and two wheel spins today. We're doing two games, four wheel spins. Well, shit, it's huh? three. We're doing two games, six wheel spins, two challenge wheels. It should be amazing. Just a little extra sauce, my small Christmas present to you guys. On top of that, I'm implementing something brand new, and I don't care if you like it or not, because I make the rules. Now, let's talk about a few things before I show you the brand new Christmas wheel. Number one, when you're watching this video, two things have already happened. The ghosts of mutt are in power and stores. Number two, the presents opened this morning, assuming you're watching this on Christmas Day. Now, unfortunately, my flight back home to see my family is the same day that Ghosts of Mutt come out. So I have to record this today, the day before, so they won't be in today's video. Yeah, fuck Boy. me for going to see my family, right? What an idiot am I? Second thing, obviously, since it's not Christmas Day yet, the presents have not yet opened. And that leads me to this, the presents wheel. Now, since it's the wheel of my Christmas special, I'm adding my own little rule set here. Now, as you're watching this video, you know exactly what is in all of these presents. But as I'm recording this video, the random present pack is still in stores. So I'm gonna spin the presents wheel here, and this is gonna tell me how many random presents I get to open. My options are 5, 10, or rarely there is 15. Whatever these mystery presents open into on the next Wheel of Mutt, you guys will see them on my squad. So if I get five small presents and they're dog shit, looks like I was naughty for Christmas this year. Talk to your mom and <laughs> she'll tell you the same thing. <laughs> Uh, no, without further ado, this won't add to our team right now. Shit. Shit. I lost my controller, but I'm still... Oh! Uh, let's go! Well, technically, I think we can make the playoffs today. And I got 15 presents. We got 15 of these. No, I can't just get 15 smalls. We got a big time clutch up. We got a clutch up so hard. Team of the week present. I got the 15, bro. It's the It was the rarest thing on there. Let's go. All right, so one team of the week, one harvest, one harvest, one team of the week, two harvest. Fourth present is one small present. Dude, we got to get at least, like, we got to get one nice large present. Give me the lavish large. That one goes hard. I don't know what's in any of these yet. Another small. I know size doesn't matter, but I'm going to be honest. Size matters. So why don't you just hit me up? I want the lovely. I want the, the, the hearts, man. Shit might not be as cracked as I thought. I'm really glad we got 15, though, because if I got five, I'd already be done. Harvest. Dude, just bend me over. Holy shit, EA. Why don't you buy me dinner first? Why don't you give me a little wine before you bend me over and fuck me? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't get 10 either. We have Harvest Small and Team of the Week. Come on, number nine. No way it's gonna be like this, bro. Dude, I've done so many Christmas bag openings on my other account, and I pulled everything in the fucking book. Everything. That's 10. I would be done right now. If I didn't get 15, I'd be done. Okay, last five got to clutch up. That's why we got 15 for this exact scenario. This is pack 11, and it is. Dude, oh my God. Would you stop? All right, this is it. Lavish large right here, baby. Lavish large right here. You know it. Oh! <laughs> This is the one I wanted, the one with the hearts on it. I don't know what it could be or what this has any reference to. I really don't. Maybe a BCA. I really just have no idea. That's awesome. I think it's going to be at least a 92 overall player. So that's massive. Let's go. That's why we got 15. Let's get it. That makes this 14. Come on. Keep giving me the variety. Hot streak. Hot streak. You know what? Team of the week is better than small, I think. And this is our final present. It's a small present, but you know what? We honestly clutched up big time with the lovely large and the blitz. So the next Wheel of Mud after Christmas Day, which I believe will be the 27th, I'll have three Team of the Week presents, four Harvest, six Small, one Lovely Large, and one Blitz. And now we get back to your regularly scheduled Wheel of Mutt content. We're three and one. Nick Chubb, I don't know how I feel about him. I'm not full send on Nick Chubb. I'm fully committed on Jalen Waddle. He's insane. I love Justin Jefferson. Hey! 
Hey, it's future Matt here. The lineup you're seeing on your screen is not the right lineup. Don't worry. In like 45 seconds here, I figure it out. So just calm down. All right. You'll be all right. Higby is a little underwhelming. Joe Burrow is a little underwhelming. Okoye is amazing. Defensively, I'm not really sold on anybody either. Like, we have filled out a lot of positions, and yet I'm not really happy with any of these guys going into the playoffs, other than maybe Montez Sweat and Dexter Lawrence. Amani Orowarie is ass. Pat P is okay. Sauce is pretty damn good. Palomalu's ass, dude. I am not a fan anymore. And Kyle Hamilton's really good. All right, our first wheel spin, I legitimately could upgrade almost every single position. Like, it's, it's, it's a pot shot. I don't really know our first wheel spin is. Five times Madden 20 packs. Match the player. So for any of you who have not yet seen this, I'm going to open five packs on Madden 20, and I can choose one player to take their best version in Madden 23. So we either got to hope that some players blossomed into incredible versions on Madden 23, or some consistent studs just kept playing really well. You know what I mean? So let's see who our first one is. Jonathan Hankins. Great example of somebody I don't want. I don't think he has shit in Madden 23. Okay, Brian. Hill, nope. Jared Cook, nope. Nope. All right. Well, that is about as big of an L as you can take. I had the same dilemma last time. I could have taken Weapon X last time. I might be in a position to do it right here. Weapon X is an insane free safety, and I've been talking shit about my safeties. So that is an excellent option right now. It's just funny that I had that last time, too. Jonathan Joseph, VA Vernon, JC Jackson. Ooh. Ooh. JC Jackson has an 87. That's it. Yikes. That's not it. This is Pat. I, it's it's, it's going to be Weapon X, I think. Jamal Lewis isn't going to do me any good. What is that? Blitz? What is that? He doesn't have anything, does he? Hopkins has an 89. That's his best. Bruce Matthews actually does have a nice card, but... Ooh, Redux, 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 Redux! By the way, I missed that promo, the signature series. Holy shit, it went so hard. You won't catch me using Russell Wilson, though. Our fifth and final pack. Come on, baby. That is so messed up. I literally have 90 Anthony Munoz with this same bullshit card art they've been using for six plus years already on my team. Taylor Mays? Oh, fuck. Taylor Mays doesn't have a card. Taylor Decker is not the worst pull in the world. Joe Mixon. I can't really take Joe Mixon over Weapon X. Joe Mixon does have that 93 overall team of the week, though. Tyler Shatley, hilariously, as a silver here, is actually... He's actually got something nice, doesn't he? Oh, just an 86. Okay. Anybody who wanted me to get Weapon X last time, you are getting full-fledged redemption right now because this has to be who I go for. Especially because I've been complaining about my secondary, like, I have to do it. So, our first player added will be Weapon X. 93 overall free safety. I gotta take a look at his stats. 94 zone coverage, 94 hit power, 92 speed, 90 excel, 6 foot 210. Gonna be a monster. I don't really think I'm gonna have to do that much to him abilities-wise either. He does get 0 AP in Enforcer. And I guess this is a jackpot. There's no reason I can't make him the best possible Weapon X. It's not bending the rules when you make the rule book, you know? I think that's what NFL refs say when they completely rig football games. Did you guys watch, like, Vikings versus Colts? I know the Vikings won, but holy shit. Those referees wanted Indianapolis to win so bad. I literally was watching the TV like, wow, this game is just fully fucking rigged. This sucks. So fully upgraded, I could get one AP Crusher, zero AP Enforcer, one AP Pick Artist. I'm gonna go one AP Crusher. No X Factor. He's just gonna be a monster all on his own. All right, next wheel spin. Like I said, there's about a million different positions we can upgrade here. Let's see what we can get. Oh, yes. I was about to say, I've been looking at this wheel spin for so long. It finally pops up. When the Blitz promo was in the store, I saved all these packs and then I put it on the wheel. And I was like, oh, eventually I'll get this wheel spin. It's been like weeks, but I did get it. So this one is for the 92 overall Blitz fantasy pack. I can take one of these players. I'm kind of forgetting who they are. Holy shit. That might actually be a really, really good option. Gino is insane. I can take one of these players. Shinobi Wuji would be so good too. Olave off the table. My wide receivers are too good. I love Olave, but no. And I already have you. Oh, shit. Gino or Chidobi Awushie? I just got Weapon X. I'm t it's Gino season. It's officially Gino season. As of right now, it's Gino season. Bro, this Gino, number one, number one. This Gino is fast. He's 6'3", 89 speed. His accuracies are insane. Don't forget, he gets fearless. 2 AP, awesome ability. It's so that under pressure doesn't mess up all your damn throws. He also gets protected. Stronger pass blocking from all offensive linemen. How are you gonna argue with that ability it's just goat things bro just goat things i'm going running gun dude let's go gino i knew this looked weird this isn't my wheel of mutt team holy shit how many of you were just screaming that at your tv i'm so sorry oh i knew that looked weird i was like wait a minute didn't i lose amani or Olarie? this is the wheel of mutt team defensively it's now weapon x up at free safety and kyle hamilton at strong safety Alamalu's my sub all right third and final wheel spin we're 
we're doing it just like this in honor of Jew Lama. It's the 18th day of Hanukkah. Everybody knows that. I'm very Jewish. I know that very well. Don't don't disrespect my heritage. Oh shit! Alphabet Jackpot. This is the first time we've ever gotten this. So we're gonna take a member of the LGBTQ plus. I <laughs> Dude, I'm losing my monetization on the best day of the year to be monetized. That's That was really dumb. Hey, Echo, give me a random letter. Here is a letter. S. S. Oh, that's so good. All right. We can take any player in the game, but their last name must start with the letter S. Not their first name, their last name. Off the dome piece, I was thinking like Steve Smith. Damn, my two best options were wide receivers, Debo Samuel, Steve Smith. I feel like Pastor Tan is probably like the best move here. Oh. <gasps> I can bring him back. I can bring Isaiah Simmons back. Ah, fine. I'm going Pat Sertan. Pat Sertan. Huge thank you to your father, that last name, and a huge thank you to him for clapping your mother and making you. I won't use any abilities on him, but he is so good. He's 6'2", 93 speed. I think Tariq Woolen's a little bit better. Obviously, I didn't get W. That just leaves us off with the challenge wheel. If I clutch it up, I might take another present. I don't know. We'll see what I do. Let's see if we can clutch this puppy up, though. Hit a crossbar. Here's the field goal. Here's the uprights, okay? You can hit the left, the right, or the middle to complete this challenge. His top three is Megatron, Ronde, and Mike Haynes. So Tanner Vallejo is in at left outside linebacker. I think I'm going to make that adjustment again. Ooh, nice ball, but he got rocked. Montez Sweat is too good to be down there on the line getting double teamed. I'll still blitz him. It just kind of depends on the package. Okay, nice. Nice pass to CJ. Two game, a nice move, and that's two. I thought he was gonna be out of bounds. Boom, baby! His first game as SS1, and he steps up that early. I got protected. Oh, I got Waddle! It's kind of a bad ball. Let's see the jet touch. Let's see the blocks. I love them. I love those blocks. So we got Nightmare. We got Nick Chubb. I think his user is supposed to be on Nick Chubb here. Let's see if he guards this. Oh, what a money ball, Gino. And Derwin James is lost. That's the beauty about man coverage. If you can see the user and know where he's supposed to be, you can do some damage. Let's see how this looks. Oh, it is? It is? Jalen Waddle. Dude, those man coverages get disguised pretty well, though. I have thought for sure that was his own. I'm going to send Montez and Micah. I'm going to hover the middle to let our big boys go. He throws early. Oh, right out in front of... No, 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 no. Who did he just break a tackle from? Do you think he runs it? I really don't think he runs it. Oh, he does. Weapon X. Let's get in there. Oh, nice play. Oh, look at the block up the middle from Okoye. Yup. Dude, you love to see a Okoye downfield like that. You're in trouble. Little play action. Let's look at Jalen Waddle. Oh, Waddle might be there. Oh. <sighs> Darn it. I was just going to say that ball is ever so slightly underthrown. Got to take a good angle here. Those are good angles, boys. Those are good angles. I don't know who I blame there. If you guys got any ideas, let me know. Oh! Game of the year for Kyle Hamilton! Dude, he did that all on his own. I, I didn't really have a lot of say in that. Is this goal line? What is this cheesy-ass defense, bro? Let's find out. I'm gonna hand off Nick Chubb. Oh my god, no! Who did you get stuck on? You just had a touchdown. I think if it's a man, I want to hit Waddle. If it's not, I want to hit Higby. There's Nick Chubb. Beauty, catch it this time and run through him! Tank is overrated. Trust the D-line. Turn the O-line. Don't trust the D-line. That's on his team. Wait for it. Just wait for it. Oh, my God. What are you running? All right. So, hopefully, he takes Higby and he leaves Chubb. Yes! Go! 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 Ooh. Rocked on the one, but we're down there. Problem with hitting a crossbar means you have to, like, miss your kick. All right. Fine. This is a scenario where I will go stretch. Because I have goal line back Nick Chubb, and he's built like that. Nick Chubb is actually a monster. Maybe maybe I shouldn't replace Nick Chubb. I was talking shit. This is a little risky because it's only a six-point game, but I'm going to hit my crossbar right now. I'm going to complete the challenge right now. I could technically hit it and make it. Shit, 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 shit. I shanked inside. Fuck! First and 10, Kyle Hamilton's lit up, which is nice. We're going to guess pass here. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ooh, good defense from everybody right there. Weapon X almost stepped up. I don't know who actually made the play, though. Same thing. Corner out, maybe. Oh! <laughs> Montez! God, he's such a beast. This is a critical point in the game right here. All right, we just can't let him get... Oh, no, I shouldn't be in coverage of Micah. Okay, he... Holy, oh, my, what is that? Matt Patricia? You want to go draw on third and 24? I'm gonna go read option, most likely just the handoff. Yep. I'm not even reading that read option. It's not worth the ball being in Geno's hands and him fumbling. Higby. Uh-oh. <laughs> if we somehow finesse a Jerry Rice touchdown, I'm built like that. Jerry? Jerry! Jerry! Get your ass in that end zone, Jerry! And now I... No! You cuck! 
I can't hit my yeah. ghost. You cuck. Oh, well, guess what? Guess who gets his upgrade? We move to four and one on the season. Jerry Rice gets an upgrade. We lock in our players. I got a rage cool wheel. And guess what, baby? This is a wheel of my Christmas special, so we're not done. Jerry Rice on to his next upgrade. He is two touchdowns away from being fully maxed out. Well done, Jerry Rice. It's already looking pretty clean. 88 speed, 88 agility. Nice work. And of course, a spin on the rage quit wheel. You know, I wouldn't hate getting a kicker from this. I don't know what I'm going to get, but if it can turn into a kicker, I wouldn't be too mad. Pat. Oh my god, this would have been Steve Atwater, but I just got Weapon X. Alright, so Pack-A-Punch gives me the best possible version of a single player that's on my team. Alan Fanica has a 93 overall. Offensive line is better than a corner, but I love Pat Pete, bro. I do love Pat Pete. I'm sorry, Alan Fanica. Alan Fanica, I know you're a stud. I love ya. I'm gonna get guards on my own time. With this Pack-A-Punch, I want a 93 overall Patrick Peterson. 6 foot 1, 93 speed. He's gonna put, dude, Sertan was awesome that game. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. So, Patrick Peterson, who gets zero AP pick artist, which is amazing, free ability. He's boosted to a 94. He's got 93 speed, 93 excel, 93 play rec, 94 zone, 95 pursuit. He's absolutely insane. I, I love this card. Let's go. All right. That moves us into our second game. Let's get it. Everything right back from the top. We got three wheel spins, a challenge wheel, and then a game to hop into if we win the game. Since we're four and one, we're into the playoffs. All right. Our first wheel spin. Listen, I've neglected my guards for a little bit too long. Left guard is manageable. Right guard is really bad. 79 overall is crazy. Weddle 100K. I love this one. Dude, I haven't played Weddle in so long. This is perfect to get. All right. So every time I use a guess... I lose 10,000 coins. I start with 100K for one player. Weddle, NFL player guessing game. Let's start out with AJ Boat. <laughs> no fucking shots. Dude, I always take AJ Brown because he's right at the top of the list. I can't believe it was, hey, that's, it was actually AJ Brown. I'm gonna go 90 overall Larry Allen. We're gonna get a legend here. And that's why you just guess Weddle on the first try so that you could perfectly get 90 overall Larry Allen. 90 overall right guard moves our overall to 88, which is huge. Our next wheel spin, that's close to a jackpot. That's actually a really good wheel spin. I think I was super close to a jackpot though. Top one times overall transfer. This is a rare one. Here's how this works. I can take one player on my team and sacrifice them for another player of the exact same overall. We have 85 overall Cam Sims. I could yeet Cam Sims and bring in another 85 overall player. So I think we take out 90 Miles Sanders and we get a linebacker or curveball, we get a kicker. 90 overall Justin Tucker does get clutch kicker and precision kicker. I think we do it. I'm going 90 overall Justin Tucker. So we sacrifice 90 overall overall Miles Sanders and in turn we get 90 overall Justin Tucker and my linebackers make me lose this game you guys can bitch me all you want oh there's not a night oh there is there's two 90 overall Justin Tuckers and they're fucking oh my god fuck them Lions kicker Michael Badgley is available 90 overall Michael Badgley and you know what he actually has a discounted ability he's got 85 speed he's got fucking fast what 88 excel kick power and kick accuracy honestly I don't really think any of this matters all that much so we got a 90 right guard and a 90 kicker can we get a little bit of diversity on this third wheel spin? Maybe something higher than a 90? Zero chill packs times five. Hey, it's the Christmas special. This is perfect. Only time we'll tell this helps our team. A huge pull from these would be a linebacker. Before we open these packs, let's be clear about what we want. So a punter would actually help. Like a punter would be nice. Any variation of a linebacker. Another D tackler left end would be awesome too. Those are kind of poverty on my squad. And a left guard. I don't know what these guarantee. I think it's two zero chill players. Admittedly, that doesn't help us at all, but it's still pretty cool. Jerry Artillery is technically an upgrade on my D-line. Eco Collins is not an upgrade. Start out with Gabe Neighbors. Our zero chill player is... Oh, actually, you're the exact same overall as Roger Saffold. Our other zero chill player is Samaj P. Ryan. Another position we already have. Tough. We got Chase Edmonds. Bruce, I already have Bruce Irvin. The tackle. Ooh, legend, legend, linebacker. Vrabel. Hilgenberg. Shit. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay, because... Shit! Scary Terry, you're so good and you're so useless! It'll be nice to Quan. Yes! Okay, so Terry for some depth. Quan will be on the squad. Derek Nadi will be on the squad. Zach Cunningham! There we go! John Kaminsky does help. Beautiful. Those five packs were perfect. So Quan Alexander, who's generally pretty fast. 87 speed, 6 foot 1. So much better than Tanner Vallejo. Bruce Irvin can stay as my user, because you know what? He's gotten the job done. And then Zach Cunningham can move to my MLB 2, which virtually never gets wrapped but that's okay. Otito Agbania can come out for Derek Nadi. You got John Kaminsky, Frank Kaminsky's brother. That's not true. I made that up. 6'5", 82 speed. 
I, I added some lions today. I like that. Of course, we've got the challenge wheel. Upon completion, I can open any pack in the store that costs coins. Our challenge is to have, oh, we're gonna spread the wealth today. Five different players need 25 or more yards. And you know what? Scary Terry might just come up clutch for that. Only blessing. Let me see what team you got, baby. Ooh, it's got big dog Jalen, Mike Will, and Primetime. It's gonna be a good game. Only blessings? I want only fans. Bella Porches, specifically. Bella, I know we haven't spoken in a while, but please make it already. My DMs are open. All right, I did summon Jalen Waddle as kick returner. Let's see if it makes a difference. I see, oh, that's a big lane. That's a big lane. Ooh. I had to change my trajectory a little bit too much, but a nice return to start. I'm seeing a beautiful hole for Nick Chubb. Good. No way Kelsey just got flattened. I refuse to believe that'll happen twice. Okay. <laughs> Nick Chubb, you're a savage. All right, we're going to go play action here, especially because I believe this is man and his users got Nick Chubb and he's not switching on. He might not have been... I don't think, dude, his controller died or something, which means I'm going no huddle. Oh, but he doesn't see who his responsibility is. His responsibility was Nick Chubb, who's taking over right now. Who's on Nick Chubb, buddy? Go out of bounds. You're tired. I'm going to go right up the middle, right behind Okoye. Big boys are playing hot right now. Cut it right up the middle at the user. Oof. Let's use our protected and find a laser beam. Nick Chubb out the backfield. They refuse to guard it. Come on, Matt. You can't get stood up right here. I'm, I'm attacking the defense with the run. Let's go. Shit. You got this, Nick Chubb. You're going right back. Yes, sir. No. Nick Chubb. Oh. Nick Chubb. I just sent it again. I should go on Jay Jet is here. Please don't quit, bro. Please. But I say not on the wheel of my Christmas special, bro. He doesn't have anything. All right, we're going to guess pass. Oh, please don't run deuce close stretch. Please don't run stretch. Yes, play action. You're fucked. You're fucked. I own you. I own you, fraud! Dude, with those two off the edge, if you run play action, there's a 0% chance you're gonna throw it. He hits the play action. I'm on the right side. I'm not quite there. I should've just gone for the tackle. Go low. Ooh, nice move. One too many, though. I'm gonna put Montez in a little cloud here. We're just gonna guard this. Go get him, Montez. Sauce! Ooh, nice breakup! I'm going on Micah, actually. I'm gonna go coverage Micah. Oh. He might have just lagged there. I really don't know what happened there. Read option again. No, he just goes to Saquon. Taken down by Weapon X and the rest. Fourth and nine. Clamp up. Guess pass. We know it's a pass. He wants this. He wants this. I'm on it. There's nothing there. He's got to throw it. He didn't have a choice. Turnover on downs. Let's go. Put it away. Let's put it away. Let's get our challenge wheel too. Okay. Nick Chubb's got 25 plus. Geno's passing yards do not count. Geno rushing yards would count. Higby. Let's get 25 right now, Higby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is exactly 25 for Higby. From my 25 to the 50. I will double check in stats, though. If it gets to that point, I got to see my other players, though. Jefferson, right over the middle. Let's go. Let's go. Good move. Oh, I almost did that. Gino, six for six, 118. Can't ask for a better stat line, Gino. Hey. Can a guy buy a clean challenge wheel? We're just too good. We're just built like that right now. The playoffs, baby! Actually got me here with a record of five and two. I guess it doesn't really matter because we're in the playoffs. But either way, we made the playoffs. Damn, wait, if I lost that game when I've been out? Holy shit. All right, well, that was big clutch. Well, the wheel of my Christmas special still got you guys a heater. We still added so many crucial players to our team. But unfortunately, I just couldn't finish out a challenge wheel. I just wanted to finish out a challenge wheel, man. The rules apply. If we get a rage quit, we do get a free upgrade for Jerry Rice. Last game, we didn't get it because we actually got him a touchdown. So either way, he got his upgrade. But that's a perfect example. Like, I was going to clearly go for a Jerry Rice touchdown there, and I wasn't given the opportunity. Our Jerry Rice is now a 90 overall with 90 speed, 90 agility. He's a solid big body wide receiver. He's come down with some clutch plays this season. And if we want a speed demon, we can always sub scary Tyrion. We do, though, get another spin on the Rage Quit Wheel. You're seeing the Rage Quit Wheel twice on the Wheel of My Christmas Special. Let's see what we got. Oh, shit. I... That was 90 jackpot. So any 90 overall player in the game, similar to like the kicker I just got, now we can actually use it on a linebacker. Troy Anderson eludes me. He always fucking eludes me. When I run 4-3 now though, my middle linebacker is gonna be a 90 overall and that's huge. Like compared to what Bruce Irvin is, that's, that's huge. So any 90 overall, I'm taking a middle linebacker. Our new user middle linebacker is 90 overall Roquan Smith. Roquan Smith, a big boy, a heavy boy, 87 speed, 91 XL, and he does get one AP lurk 
Lurker. One AP Lurker. And as we enter the playoffs, I finally have gotten a usable middle linebacker. That is crazy I went this long without it, but hey, that's what our strong safety was for, right? All right, Roquan is activated. We got Lurker on him. Essential for the middle linebacker position. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had an amazing Christmas. I can't wait to see you when the presents open and we keep adding to the squad. And I can't wait to see you for the big boy playoff run. I love you guys. Thanks for watching a big video like this. You guys are the best. I hope this was a decent Christmas present for you. And I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.